U salati britanski elektroduo Goldfrapp govori o svojoj muzici. Hello, my name is Will Gregory and um, I'm from Goldfrapp. Hello, I'm Alison from Goldfrapp. A mutual friend in Bristol had a tape um, of a very early version of Human actually that Alison was writing and singing and uh, so I was very taken with the song and, and you know uh, Alison's voice so I I found out uh, how to get hold of her and we spoke on the phone and then we met up and then we uh, we sort of talked about our history in music up till then and maybe what we want to do in the future and and that was how it began really I think that w I think we probably were wary of getting involved in um, in a mu in, you know a musical venture that before we felt that you know there was some there was common ground I think we probably both had done that before and um, I think we took quite a mature attitude to it that if we were going to do it we wanted to do it not just you know one song at a time we wanted to do a whole album that was the vision you know to, to, to try and create a whole sort of uh, direction that you could write songs in and do the whole thing rather than just sort of you know little bits so I think we took quite a lot of care and time um, to, to find out whether our minds were on the same wavelength there's sort of one of the things was um, saying that we didn't want to use samples Samples ultimately control you. They, you know, it doesn't. It, however much you might chop them up, and they're still, it's still someone else's thing that you then manipulate, which is is, is quite creative. But I think we really want to just sort of get rid of that. There's so much music that's been based on samples and loops, and it was just felt like, well, we, you know, that'd be so obvious just to do that. So it was really get rid of all those things and start from scratch and make it all ourselves. Plus, ultimately, I think it's just much more fun, you know. So many different influences, and probably we probably don't mention a lot of them because you can't remember them. You know, there's all those things you listen to when you're a child, and, and both of us are really into sort of Burt Bacharach and things like that, and, um, you know, sort of disco and soul I think probably had just as much influence on what we do as Ennio Morricone or, or a lot of classical music you know and it's such a broad spectrum I think it's very hard to kind of pinpoint any one influence. It's really hard because I mean also I think things that you're into that you leave out have an influence by their absence you know what I mean it's like I'm very into jazz but there isn't uh, an ounce of that in that, and that's quite conscious because we didn't want that sort of thing. But I mean, it's but it's if you like, it's there sort of as an influence, you know, sort of by default by the fact it's missing. Yeah, you get used. To, I mean, I think we were we were very aware very early on, having played our stuff to a couple of people. So it all sounds just like Port's Head, and you kind of think, okay, right, I better get used to this because this, you know. So and and also, I think a lot of I think it is a real journalist thing, you know, that people have to, and it's a natural human thing to kind of go, oh, well, it sounds like this or it sounds like that, you know, it's something everyone does, but I mean, I think most of the time it's pretty super superficial.